Hey there, another week, another video. Today we'll be putting up against each other best Roblox strategy games in 2020. Hi, this is Roblox Olympics and the game is on. But before we head straight into the video, I would need you to answer the question. What is the strategy game known for the bug Nuclear Gandhi? The answer is hidden somewhere in this video. The correct answer will have a shout out from us, of course, on the next video. All right, let's get started. Number 10, D-Day. Join forces with your team and crush your enemies in this wonderful and exciting reenactment of the actual D-Day in Roblox. Experience the grifty and brutal nature of war in the beaches of Normandy and fight your way to win the game. D-Day, in the name itself, is a war game and also a strategy game. You need to strategize and conquer your enemies by flanking, war of attrition, and employing legion tactics to win in this game. It's a very good game with various classes to play, like the Rifleman, Assault, Medic, Officer, Engineer, and many more. Highly recommended for any war and strategy enthusiasts. Number 9, Blood and Iron. A game highly focused in the Napoleonic Wars and the French's conquest to raise more red flags than whites. You can choose between the Frenchies or the Brunswick Ducal. You can join a variety of regiments, as well as building barricades and more. Of course, this is a war game, and in every war, it is required that you become the tactical genius to outmaneuver your enemy. Good luck! I hope you don't drown in the Waterloo. Number 8, Tankery. Tankery is all about being a brainy bastard driving a tank. This game is all about the nature of war in the hands of, well, you. You're gonna command a tank with over 90 different tanks to choose from, including the World War II era tanks up to the latest tanks. The game features its own in-game currency, which you can utilize to buy your own tanks, and tanks that you can use can be bought from each country of origin, like the M1 Abrams from the US Sherman, and from the US as well, or even Tiger tanks from Germany. The countries available are Germany, France, US, Japan, Soviet Russia, and Great Britain. Number 7, Stackables. Stackables plays a lot like Jenga, but you can't really take out the pieces of the game. What you need to do basically is hold a piece you have and make sure that it will not fall or the tower itself will not collapse on you. It's a pretty fun game and a different tone from the regular strategy games where you have to murder everyone. This one takes wits and brains to play. Number 6, Tower Battles. This game is all about strategic tower defense and you must absolutely defend yourself alongside your team against waves over waves of zombies. But as the saying goes, the best defense is oftentimes the best offense. So yeah, you can definitely go offensive. There are over 20 plus different towers here. Each is upgradable and it gains new stats and can further increase its abilities, like having tanks, planes, soldiers, machine guns, etc. You can either play solo, duo, trio, or even a quartet in survival or versus mode. It's a pretty fun and challenging game. Number five, Territory Conquest. Territory Conquest plays a lot like Risk and old school civilization games. And although this game looks like it's easy to play, it really is not. This game might frustrate you if you're not good enough with strategy and such. This game is all about making friends and backstabbing them. You can never trust people enough if you want to play this game, and it's all about strategy, team building, diplomacy, and all of that other stuff that runs a country. Become the best leader in the game by beating everyone. Number 4. Phantom Forces Phantom Forces is a tactical shooting and strategic offense game that features a large variety of weapons, ranging from assault rifles up to light machine guns and many more. The key features of this game is how you optimize your loadout to properly kill your enemies and with over 19 playable maps, I'm pretty sure you'll never get bored of doing any kind of Sun Tzu tactics to defeat your enemies. Number 3, World Conquest. This game works exactly like any Civilization or Europa Universalis games. It's all about controlling the game in your favor. World's Conquest features economies, allies, ideologies, and many aspects that makes the strategy game more intuitive and a bit more enjoyable. It's basically more of an RP game than a strategy game, but it's really fun. Number two, The Conquerors 3. The Conquerors 3 is a real-time strategy game where you will be commanding entire armies. Yes, entire armies of soldiers, tanks, planes, navy, you name it. A game of conquest against, well, commanders such as yourself. The game offers three versus three conquest as well as two versus two versus two. So three teams of two people. You need to choose which map works for you or your enemies. 
The maps are pretty huge for such a small troop and vehicles. So really, it's a perfect game for an RTS game. It's really fun, in my opinion. Number 1. Warships An incredibly good war simulation and strategy game. Warships offers gameplay that will have you at the helm of an admiral, as you hunt the ship in various maps across the worldwide theater of war. Shooting blindly won't do you any good here, but you can practice your aim with a projectile in this game, which is incredibly satisfying, given that it's Roblox. Overall, it's a fun game about dividing and conquering in order to win. That's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy these games. Oh, and don't forget to tick the notification bell once you're subscribed here on the channel. Hit like and comment if you enjoy our content. Until next time, Roblox Olympics out.